Hey guys, today we are talking about my favorite tool. If you're currently paying rent in a very, very expensive city and you don't have this card, you're basically missing out on a free vacation and I'm here to tell you why. I've had this Build MasterCard for over a year now and I want to review it for you because I don't think there's that many people out there that have held this card for that long. I pay a ton of money on rent and I think I'm a prime example of who this card is made for. So I will review all the things that I've noticed in the past year while using this card to pay my rent and also other things. But before we dive in, I actually want to talk about two different things that Build offers, which is the credit card that they offer and their loyalty program. First, let's talk about the credit card. This this card is called the Build MasterCard. It allows you to earn one point per dollar on rent and general purchases, in addition to earning two points per dollar on travel and three points per dollar on dining. This card also offers typical travel credit card benefits that you find in other cards as well, such as the Chase Sapphire products or the Amex products. For example, trip cancellation protection, trip delay, reimbursement, etc. And then the second product that they have is the Build Loyalty Program. Actually, I think most people don't know that Build doesn't want to be a credit card company. They want to be a loyalty program. And I think this is incredible because it's probably one of the first on the market and you don't need this card to get started. You can just sign up on their website today. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to give them your social security number. You don't have to apply for this credit card and you're part of the loyalty program. The way you earn points there is you link other credit cards. For example, if you have a Chase Sapphire card and you use that card for all of your travel purchases, for all of your dining purchases, and you want to keep using that, you just need to add that card to your built wallet. And when you add that card, you will start earning extra points in addition to what your typical card gives you. It allows you to do that for certain categories. For example, they give you two extra points per dollar on lift rides, even if you use a different card for it. So for example, if you typically use your Chase Sapphire Reserve card to earn three points per dollar when you take lift rides, this loyalty program gives you two extra points. So you actually make five points per dollar on each lift ride. Who wouldn't want that? They also have something new, which is something that I'm very excited about, which is Built Dining. And with Built Dining, you actually make five points per dollar in addition to what your typical credit card gives you in select restaurants. So if you live in New York, it's super worth it because they added so many amazing New York restaurants to that list. So I can only recommend doing that. However, I'm not going to talk more about the loyalty program today. If you're curious about it though, let me know in the comments below so I'll make another video on that. So for the remainder of the video, I will focus on the credit card. Let's start with the application process. This process has been super quick for me. I basically just went on the website, typed in my information and got instantly approved. However, I have some friends that tried to do the same and they got denied. I don't know why Bill denied them because they also have a pretty good credit score. They also live in a big city, but maybe their rent just wasn't enough. I tried to find an official statement on that, but I haven't found anything on their website yet. And then when you receive your credit card in the mail, this is what you get. This is the welcome package. The card is usually here and it just gives you some more information about how to get started and basic things on the card that you will have. And one thing that I found very useful and different than other credit card companies, the moment I got approved for this card, my credit card details actually showed up in the app virtually. So I didn't need to wait for the physical card to arrive in order to add it to my Apple Pay and start using the card. This is something that most credit card companies don't do. We all know the post office can take a while to deliver physical cards and I was really excited to use it. So I was happy that I was able to use it a few days earlier. Let's talk about why I got this card. For me, I try to optimize every single dollar that I spend in my personal life with getting cash back or rewards. I have over 10 credit cards right now and I've optimized my credit card system so well that on average, I think I get two and a half points per dollar actually on purchases. However, I lived in studio apartments for a long time in New York. And then at some point I decided, no, I don't want to live in a studio apartment anymore. Let's upgrade. So I moved into this apartment, which is way more expensive than my studio apartment. And I thought, wow, Maria, you're spending an insane amount of money on rent and you're not getting anything back there should be a solution for it. So I started talking to my landlord first and I asked him, hey, can I pay with my credit card? And they said, sure, but you have to pay a fee for it. And I was like, nope, not worth it. Then I did some research on credit cards that I could use that would waive the fee, but didn't find anything until I found Built. And when I found Built, it was a no brainer for me. Obviously I immediately applied for the credit card, got approved, and I've paid my rent with this credit card since February 2022. So it's been 15 months, I believe. And just by paying rent, that allowed me to fly 
business class round trip to Argentina from New York. And I wouldn't have been able to do this without this credit card. And honestly, if you're thinking about this right now and you're paying a ton of money on rent, you're missing out. There's no downside to it, except you do have to use this card for five transactions every single month. There was definitely one or two months where I didn't get the points for my rent because I just forgot to use this card but now I use it more for dining. So now I don't forget to use this card anymore. One other thing that I want to quickly mention and I will dive into it later is that the travel partners built has is actually incredible. So of course, when I got this card, I needed to tell all of my friends about it because I just couldn't believe what I just found. However, some of my friends didn't really understand the concept of this card. They thought, no, when I look on my online payment portal, it tells me I need to pay a fee when I pay with credit cards. And that's when most of the conversations stop because they just didn't get it. So I'm here to explain you how it actually works. TLDR, your landlord does not need to accept credit card payments in order to use the build card for free. Because Built acts as the middleman and they give you an account number and a routing number that you can use as a fake checking account for your rent payment platform. And I think most people just pay rent with a direct deposit these days. I think I've also seen that Built accepts check payments as well. So they will help you sending out checks to your landlord. Really check out the platform. There might be a way for you to use this card even though you don't think it's possible. And the best part is when you use the online portal to pay rent, it doesn't cost you anything. Some people also have the question on, okay, but if I pay my rent with this card, my credit limit will be basically at 100% right away. That's true. And Build actually has a solution for it, which is called Build Protect. I personally use this too, because I like to pay off balances on my credit cards really fast in general. Whenever you pay rent with Build, your link checking account will be charged automatically if you have turned this on. That way you don't need to touch your credit limit at all. Also what Build allows you to do is auto scheduling your rent, which is something that you should do regardless if you're using this card or not. I've tested this for the past 15 months and Build has not missed a single rent day. My landlord is happy, I'm happy, I don't need to worry about anything and my rent is paid. I now even started auto scheduling some other expenses that I have on a monthly basis. For example, my Wi-Fi payments because Build also has this concept of rent day, which is each first of the month. And on that day, you get double points for everything. So if a general purchase usually gives you one point per dollar, you, on that day, you get two points per dollar, which means if I schedule my Wi-Fi payment on the first of each month, I'm getting two points per dollar on my Wi-Fi expenses, which I don't think any other regular credit card gives you at this point. And of course you can do this with other purchases as well. And I have found some tricks. I have a bunch of tips on that. So follow this channel for more videos on that later. As a last point of this video, I specifically want to talk about the travel partners that Build has. I don't know how much time you spend looking at their travel partners, but I was honestly shocked because they have some of the best travel partners in the industry and they're not even positioning themselves as a travel card. For example, American airline miles are worth a lot. They have incredible deals for business class round trip tickets, for economy trips to Europe and American airline miles are pretty difficult to earn because the other travel cards don't have them as a travel partner. For example, Chase doesn't have them. American Airlines doesn't have them. City only has them for a specific card that you need to get. So built having American Airlines as a partner is a huge benefit for me, to be honest. Also, each time you add a new partner to your build account, you earn 100 extra bonus points just because you added your rewards program. You can also redeem your points in tons of other ways. I think they have some fitness options. You can even buy art on their app, which is not something that I've used so far. I would rate this card 10 out of 10. I'm so, so happy that I got this card 15 months ago. I would have missed out on probably like 70 or 80,000 points if I hadn't gotten this card. I can only recommend it to you if you pay a lot of money on rent. And if you don't get this credit card, at least sign up for the loyalty program. You just earn extra points by doing nothing. So TLDR, I'm very happy about this card, would always get it again. I will keep recommending it to my friends. And if you don't have this card yet, you can look at the description below because there is a sign up link for you. I have some tips on how you can maximize this card for 12 points per dollar on dining options. So if you're curious about that, let me know, follow this channel and watch out for the next couple of videos. 